So why is it on one golf ball you slice it and on the very next shot you hook it when both swings felt exactly the same? Well believe it or not, it could be because of the speed of your golf swing. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cobb and I can tell you this, the speed of the golf swing, specifically the arms and the body, have a big impact on curve of the golf ball. And that's what we're talking about here today. So I don't care if you slice the golf ball, I don't care if you hook the golf ball, this video is for you because I'm going to give you some information, a tip at the end, to kind of tie all this together. So here's generally what we've got. If you typically slice the golf ball, we know that that ball is high and it's to the right if you're a right-handed golfer. And for most golfers, the reason that they're slicing it is because their body is going too fast relative to their arms. So when they're sitting there, even if they've got this perfect backswing position, club's in a good spot, club face looks really good, if their body goes too fast, okay, relative to their arms, that's going to leave the club face open and can cause them to hit it to the right. So from down the line, if I take this to the top, and even if I've got a really good position here, but my body just goes way too fast relative to my arms, that's going to leave the club open, and I'm going to be prone to kicking the ball high and to the right. Now, as you can imagine, if you're hooking the golf ball, it's very well likely could be just the, just the opposite. So, once again, you got the club in a good spot here at the top, but your body is really slow now, and then you just release your arms really fast, and as you release the arms, the club face closes, and the ball hooks. So what is the right combination? If my body could be too fast, my arms could be too fast, what's the right combination? How do I practice that? Well, I love this drill. It's a simple drill. It's called the right-left drill. I've used it for years, and it works for a variety of things. So basically, here's how it works. You're going to take your setup, and as you know, if you've watched any of my videos before, I like you to start with a little bit of weight on your lead foot, more so than your trail foot. So maybe 60% on the lead, 40% on the trail. So I'm going to swing the club to the right as a right-handed golfer, and as I do that, I'm going to say to myself, right, and then as I swing the club to the left, I'm going to say left. So it looks something like this. So we go right, left, right, left, right, left. Now the key to doing this drill is that when the club starts swinging, it has to stay in continuous motion, because when it's in continuous motion, the body speed and the arm speed are going to start to match and work a little bit more together. So, right, left, right, left, right, left. Alright, and then just go ahead and hit a golf ball. So, if you're hooking it, it could be because your arms are going too fast. That's closing the club face. If you're slicing it, it could be because your body's going too fast and it's leaving the club face a little bit open. This simple drill, this concept can help you eliminate both of those shots.